I go to class today. Or ever, really, but today especially. <laughs> so, it's like maybe one o'clock on Monday afternoon, but it has already been the like Mondayest Monday I've had in a really long time. So let me tell you guys, a lot of you actually had asked for updates with, I told you a couple of vlogs ago that I wanted to change my professor. So I'm here to supply that for you. Not too long actually after I talked to you guys, maybe a week or two later, Actually, no, it might have been longer than that. I'm not sure. Uh, time is just a void in China. I don't really understand what happens, but almost a week ago today, I actually met up with a friend of mine who is a professor at the school. She's an art professor. And she kind of asked me, she's like, so I heard you're in Professor Wong's class. Like, how's that going? Excuse me? She's like, so how's that going? And I was like, uh, it's awful. And I told her like all these reasons, whatever. And she's like, yeah, he's, he's like, nobody likes him. Like outside of his own students, literally in, in the department, nobody likes him. So she's like, yeah, I feel like you could probably change. Like I'll help you. Just by chance, actually someone, uh, our Waiban office, like the, um, the foreign affairs office, uh, like the main person there, actually like came into the restaurant we were eating dinner at. Uh, we were eating dinner at the time. And my friend was like, oh, you know what? I'll talk to her. And this, they both speak English. So I was like confident that like nothing would be like, you know, misunderstood or whatever, which is kind of one of the things that I was really afraid of because well, you'll find out why. I had mentioned a couple of reasons for like why I wanted to change this professor. I was like, it's really weird. He kept asking me to teach English to his his daughter and like a bunch of her friends and I didn't want to do it. And the Waibon was like, well, you could just say no. Like you could just say that the Waibon says, you know, as a student, I'm not allowed to do that or whatever. So then I mentioned like a bunch of other things. Like I had a laundry list, like I told you guys, but I kind of like, culminated this like idea that I, you know, was not getting along with this professor in the way that I had said that I was gonna try and go about it with like, I wanted to get different viewpoints from different professors and have different whatever. And I didn't expect to spend three years with the same professor. Like it's not as enriching of an experience as I was really hoping for. So then like the next day I was out with a couple of friends and I get a phone call that, and it's my Waibon. And she's like, so I talked to, um, excuse me, this rude, this rude. And she's like, I talked to the Dean of the art department and um, you know, it, it, it'll be fine. Like they're gonna start all the paperwork and everything for you to change. I was like, paperwork, like, all, the only thing that they did to like help me get into this class was like, they were like, oh, we'll take you. Like it was like picking like teams on sports day or something. Like th there was nothing official about this. I was like, I don't know about any paperwork that needs to be done, whatever. I was like, thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate this. I, I feel like it's gonna change my experience greatly. And, um, and she specifically said, she's like, yeah, you know, like we'll think of a, like a, a delicate way to kind of keep this like handled, you know, nice and quietly and calmly and it'll be fine. Um, you know, fast forward today, I get a tap on my shoulder and it's my painting professor and he's like motioning for me to go into his office. And I'm like, okay. Cause I figured something he had said some, or somebody had said something to him or whatever. He sits me down and he starts talking about money. And I, I, I was like, okay, maybe I'm, I'm like, what money? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't, I, and I said, I was like, I don't understand. So then he's thinking that I don't, I don't understand like, like translation wise. So he calls someone in who does not speak English, by the way, she's just my friend. And he's like, tell her what, you know, what I mean. And she's like looking at me and looking at him. She's like, I don't understand what you mean. Like what money, what are you talking about? So then my professor calls his wife on the phone. His wife speaks English. So she tells me, now here's where it gets a little bit. She's like, oh, well, you know, we, we're, we have to pay you for the time that you taught English at our house. First of all, today, like I said, is what, December 4th? That was the day before my birthday. My birthday's September 15th. So from September 14th to December 4th, there was no mention of being paid. And I honestly did not expect to be paid for that day because that was kind of like a trial thing to see if I liked it, to see whatever. And although it would make sense to like pay someone for their like training time or whatever it is, um, it just like, there was no mention of it, so I didn't, I was like, whatever. I don't wanna do this anyway. I don't wanna drag it on. I'll just drop it. So when she was like, oh, we gotta pay you. I was like, okay, like why? I, you know, and I was like, are you, is there some kind of, I'm clearly missing something here. And I was like, yeah, whatever, I don't care, that's fine. 
whatever. And then she's like, so I texted you many times about teaching English and you never responded. I was like, yeah, well, you know, short of saying, I made it pretty clear that I didn't want to do it. I, um, I was like, well, you know, I had talked to my Waiban about teaching English and they said it's really not appropriate while I'm a student here to do that or whatever. She's like, oh, okay, I understand. She asks me about Zhang Hong. So Zhang Hong is, if you've been following me for a long time, you might remember the very first semester I was here, there was an issue with the dean of the foreign students wanted me to teach her English. I did not want to do it. She forced me into it. Then it came down to she was not, or whoever, but she's really in charge, so it, it falls on her. Whoever was not allocating the money out for scholarships on time. And I made a big deal of it. So then she made a big thing where like I made her lose face or whatever, I embarrassed her. And you know, she could not take classes with me anymore. And I was like, that's fine, goodbye. Like I never wanted to do this with you anyway. Back to present day, my professor's wife goes, Zhang Hong told us that you came to her and said that we made you teach English without paying you. And I was like, absolutely not. I never said anything. I was like, first of all, I haven't talked to Zhang Hong since June of last year when I, you know, I had classes with her. I was like, I talked to, as I, uh, you know, I talked to the Waiban about English classes and that that's it. That's, you know, everything. And she's like, okay, I'll, I guess that that's fine. She hangs up. So then she texts me afterwards. She's like, yeah, Zhang Hong came and complained to the art department dean that, you know, we made you do this and we didn't pay you and that you were upset that we didn't pay you or whatever. I told her, I was like, you know, there's clearly some kind of misunderstanding. Like I said, the only person I talked to was the Waiban and I never complained, you know, that you guys were not paying me. I didn't even tell them specifically that I had taught a class at their home, but they had, you know, asked if it was, if I, if I was teaching for free and I had said no. I texted my Waiban, whose name is Zheng Li, when all this was happening. So I felt kind of trapped. Like I was in my professor's class, unable to avoid his wife's texts because he's there. Like, you know, he's gonna know that I'm like obviously avoiding her. Can you stop biting me? What is wrong with you? No. So I felt really trapped and I was like, okay, well, I'll just answer honestly. Like I, you know, I didn't do any of these things that you're saying that I'm doing or whatever. So I texted my Waiban at the time. I was like, just so you know, I was like, good morning. Just to let you know, I'm being confronted right now by my professor and his wife and it's uncomfortable. And I'm sorry if there was some kind of misunderstanding. I was like, I just listed, you know, the class thing in like a list of stuff. And like really my reason for wanting to change is more about like fulfillment like I, I'm it's unfulfilling to be in this position right now uh, I'm gonna direct them to you if that's okay she didn't answer me so I didn't I didn't say anything so then I uh, just before when I was eating lunch I got a text from my professor's wife it was like oh sorry um, it wasn't uh, Zhang Hong, it was Zheng Li. And I, at that point, I was like, that's not a mistake that a Chinese person makes. That's like really weird. Like mix up like a Chinese person's name like that. But there's no way, like, I don't know how that got confused or whatever. So now I don't know what to do because I st now I haven't answered the my professor's wife because I'm not in his class, so I don't have to do it right now. But I know that like class is gonna start at two o'clock. I just wanted things to be handled a little bit more delicately because at this point, I still have a month left of the semester. This doesn't make sense. Like, why would you go about telling them now? And to be fair, you know, it might be that the story was confused or whatever. I don't know if, if my Waiban, if uh, Zheng Li told them that I had said, oh, I you know, wanted to be paid or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But at the same time, why, you know, I know that she did go to the, the art dean. So she might be just as annoyed that I am that he went and told my professor now, now that I have to sit there for a month with him. Like, like why, who decided? this was a good idea. Like I went about it as delicately as I could. Just carried on minding my own business in class, you know, did whatever, excuse me. It's just like, this is not how I wanted this to go. This could have been handled so much better. I'm so aggravated right now.